first of all, we are, we're good family and friends with the Bannings. Um, and when, uh, I'll be honest, when Grant first reached out, it was, uh, it was flattering. Kind of took me back a bit that, uh, that he would uh, pick me to help uh, mentor him through this process. Um, but I'm so glad he did. You know, it's been a great, uh, great journey. Been able to get closer to him. You know, typically uh, when we were all together, it's, you know, family and a lot of hustle and bustle and not really a chance to, to spend any time with him one-on-one. -on -one. So, you know, first and foremost, it was um, a great, uh, a great thing just to get closer to him for sure. Um, what have I learned about him? I mean, he's a great kid. He is super mature for his age. Um, he cares. There's a lot of, you know, he, he cares about his family. He cares about his friends. Uh, he's very passionate about everything he does. Um, and I can tell, you know, he wants to give it 110% and, and do well um, in, in everything um, in his life, for sure. Um, I think the biggest thing to let the church know about Grant is that he is ready. He's ready to contribute. Um, again, like I said, you know, he's he's a smart kid. He's got a great head on his shoulders. Um, and I think to, you know, get some input from the youth um, in our church is so important. And I think he's ready to contribute, um, you know, be it on, on certain boards, um, you know, even, even the missions board, uh, which I'm on. You know, I could see him being a part of those things um, moving forward. And I think the church should, uh, should embrace, uh, not only him, but all of these, uh, the, you know, these young people and, and their, um, their input, uh, for sure is going to be meaningful for us as we move forward as a church. I think the biggest thing for me, what I learned from Grant, um, is I think I, I had more faith in my life, um, than I maybe had originally thought I did. Um, you know, going into it, I, I never, you know, consider myself to be, you know, a, uh, um, a super hardcore Christian or anything like that. But, you know, faith has always been a part of my life. Um, and by going through this experience with Grant, it's definitely, you know, um, shown me um, and taught me that, hey, you know, you, you do have more faith in your life than you thought. Um, and it has be, you know, become more and more a part of your life, um, especially with that church being such a huge part of that. Um, so I guess that's the biggest thing, you know, Grant's made me kind of self-reflect um, and taught me to self-reflect on, on my own uh, journey of faith um, and how, you know, it is such a big part of my life. Um, again, kind of piggybacking off the last question, um, I think it's, I think it's grown my faith for sure. You know, um, it's, you know, it's been a great refresher for myself. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've gone through um, that Christian uh, education. And so, um, you know, I'm so thankful that, uh, that Grant chose me and not only to be there for him um, and hopefully to help him go through this, but it's also, you know, changed me. It's also given me a great experience as well um, to, um, you know, to, to, to gain more uh, faith in my life and to reflect on that. I chose Mr. Cease as my mentor, and I chose him because we already had a good relationship before this confirmation started, and I just thought he'd be a really good fit for me because uh, he's really easy to talk to, and we've known each other. Um, something that I learned from him was that he actually grew up Catholic. Um, something that surprised me about him was how much we learned. I didn't know we were going to learn as much as we actually did, um, which was surprising. Uh, the best part about confirmation was going to class and having fun with it, and like, because if we didn't make jokes and have fun, it would just be boring class the whole time. And uh, the hardest part about confirmation was probably just trying to take in all the information. But I think that was also really good for me because it strengthened my relationship with Christ. Um, and it has brought me closer to God. And I've learned way more than I thought I would. Hi, my name is Stephanie Patterson. And I had the great honor and blessing of being Jacob Herman's confirmation mentor. I've known Jacob for a number of years and like so many, just love being around him. There is an energy and a light that create a gentle aura around him. But I was thrilled at the opportunity to get to know him better and to share our experiences with one another. I already knew the essentials, uh, like the fact that Jacob is outnumbered at home 
with two older sisters that like the rest of his family, he has a love for music that will be on display when he joins the Revere High School band next year and that he enjoys hanging out with his friends. But I got to see more of his soft heartedness and his love for life during our time together. I love the way that Jacob isn't embarrassed about questions he has or elements of his faith that he's not 100% sure about. I sometimes forget that it's okay to ask why or how and that we don't have to know all the answers. Through our discussions, um, Jacob reminded me that it actually uh, increases the strength of our faith to have um, a questioning mind and an open heart. I have so enjoyed going through this journey with Jacob. We talked and laughed a lot. Um, we learned things about the church that we didn't know before. Um, and we had conversations about a number of difficult faith-related topics. As Jacob continues on his faith journey here at Bath Church, um, I think it's important for other members of the congregation to recognize his earnest desire to be involved, to have friends here at the church, to be involved in youth group, to greet the little ones at Sunday school, um, and to see where else he can contribute to the life of the church. So um, the next time that we are gathered together in person, if you don't know Jacob, I would strongly encourage you to go up to him um, and take the opportunity to say hello. He's the one with the smile and the gentle glow around him. My mentor is Stephanie Patterson. Her favorite food is steak. She has always wanted to go to Rome, and her favorite color is turquoise. She plays in primetime chimes, and she sings in all of the church choirs. I chose her to be my mentor because she is kind, thoughtful, hardworking, funny, sweet, and she is an amazing human being. Stephanie has helped me by talking through my statement of faith, and she has shared her faith beliefs with me and how God has been in her life. She is very easy to talk to, and we have had some great conversations about a lot of different things. I've learned that even if I don't feel like God is with me, he really is. He's helping me grow, live, laugh, have fun, and learn about the church. I was surprised by how much our church has evolved over the years, with the old chapel being the first place of worship on our road to our sanctuary hosting many followers of Christ every year. The best part about confirmation was seeing my friends, talking about faith with them, and enjoying time together. The hardest thing about confirmation was trying to figure out what to put in my statement of faith and not being able to be with them in confirmation class each Sunday. Confirmation has helped me figure out more about my faith and what I believe and where I want to be with my faith. I have learned that I can count on my friends and that I have a trusted mentor that I can turn to if I need help with anything. Hi. I just first wanted to say that um, it has been a great honor to be a mentor this year and I feel very um, privileged to be a part of it with Emmy um, and just go through the process in, in general. I have never been a mentor and um, it really meant a lot to me and I was very, very happy to be a part of it this year. So thank you, Emmy, and thank you, Ginger, for including me. Um, that being said, one of the first things that I kind of observed about Emmy, and I didn't know her very well going into this, um, was that she is very thoughtful and she is a very strong observer and she kind of takes everything in around her. Um, and she has a very, very unique, quiet confidence. Um, and actually one of the first major interactions I had with her was a little bit before I got involved with the mentorship. And it was during Christmas Eve service this past year. And she was going to do a reading for the Christmas Eve service, the family service. And a lot of you know that that service is super crowded and it can be very intimidating if you have to go up and speak during it. So shortly before the service started, I found Emmy and said, are you okay? Do you know when you need to go up? And do you have your, you know, are you comfortable with all the words and your scripture and everything? And she goes, yeah, you know, I'm good, I'm good. And I said, are you nervous? And she goes, yeah, I'm pretty nervous. And I was so surprised because I never would have known it looking at her. She just looked, you know, cool as a cucumber. And so I offered her some advice and tips of kind of how to get through it when you're nervous like that. But even as I was saying it, I kind of knew that she would be fine and she didn't need any of my advice. Um, so sure enough, uh, she goes up right on cue and delivers that scripture 
amazingly and it was precise and she stood up tall and had looked like the most confident person in the world. So I was really impressed with that whole um, display of confidence. It was really, really neat to see, particularly someone at her age. Um, very, very respect respectful. So um, another thing that I really liked during this confirmation process was the whole um, like learning the basic like information about just UCC and stuff like that. It was just a nice refresher for me and some of the stuff I didn't know. So it was really, really cool to be a part of that and kind of just get some facts and just straight up information from Ginger. And um, I really enjoyed that part of it more than I thought I would. And the other part that I think was really neat was not only my discussions with Emmy and learning a perspective um, from somebody her age was just talking with the other mentors and their confirmands all as a group. Um, it's just everybody comes from a different place and everybody is in such a different spot in their spiritual journey. So it was really neat to hear all of those perspectives. And it kind of made me um, take another look at my own beliefs and ask myself why I believe that and why I feel that way about this and that. And um, it just was neat to kind of take a look at my own spirituality in reference to the things that I was learning and feeling from the other other people in the group. Um, so this has been a great experience and Emmy is such a beautiful, wonderful, smart girl and I think that um, she has made this whole process look so easy and I know that it's not um, when you're going through it. So I wanna thank Emmy for letting me go through this with her and having me be a part of it. Um, and I hope that she will always count on me if she needs any guidance in her spiritual journey. I will always be here for her. Um, and thank you to the rest of you for making this a great, great time. So thank you and congratulations, Emmy, on your confirmation. Well deserved. Hi, my mentor for confirmation class is Leah Duplega. I didn't really know Leah before class started, but I'm really glad I got to know her better. Leah is funny, easy to talk to, and a good listener. Our times together were meaningful and always a lot of fun. Leah has helped me grow by helping me realize that everyone goes through hard times and God has a unique way of helping each of us. What I learned from Leah is that it may take time and it may not always be easy getting through these rough times, but God will always be there to help guide you through them no matter how long it takes. One thing I learned from confirmation class that surprised me is that everyone has a path to come back to. People may get off path, but can always depend on their faith to help them get back on track. The best part about confirmation class was when we were all together laughing and having a good time. I think the hardest part was writing my statement of faith and answering some of the questions that we got asked. Confirmation has helped me do my faith. When you get baptized, it's your parents who speak for you about how you're going to grow up as a Christian. Learning more about this journey has made me realize that now it's my decision and I'm responsible for deepening my faith further and living life as a Christian. For this past year, I've had the great privilege to be Heidi's confirmation mentor. Heidi exudes love and joy. I love watching the gears turn in her inquisitive mind during every conversation. Last year, during Sunday school, Heidi was present almost every single week and whenever we had discussions, she always had a profound and thought-provoking comment or question, which I knew would lead to a wonderful relationship during confirmation. More than anything, I love being able to have deep conversations about our faith and the Bible and the practical implications on our everyday life. Every time we dive into the Bible or faith, Heidi always astounds me with her deep comprehension and thinking. Heidi taught me how to communicate better. During some of our discussions, I would be sharing or explaining a, a theological concept and Heidi would jump in with an even better analogy or explanation and I would look at her and say, yeah, that's exactly what I mean and even better than what I could ever come up with. We often joked that Heidi should have her own book called Heidi's Interpretation of What Chelsea Means. Being Heidi's mentor gave me the opportunity to revisit my own faith and beliefs and dig down to the core and ask why I believe what I believe and why I do what I do. Our faith should not be stagnant. Rather, it should be dynamic and ever-changing. Being in a confirmation 
mentor-mentee relationship with Heidi provided me with that opportunity to challenge, increase, and ultimately deepen my own faith. The one thing Bath Church should know about Heidi is her commitment to loving all people and the faith community. Her heart is one of pure love and desire to know and learn about every member of Bath. Chelsea taught me that God is always ready and prepared to give us what we need, but we just have to be open and ready to ask for it. She also taught me to believe in myself and to trust God with whatever I need his help for. I now feel a closer connection to God, and I also have learned to understand how he works in the church and in everyone's everyday lives, and I feel ready to trust him with everything and anything, really. I was surprised at how Chelsea and I had similar but also very different faith journeys, but we were still able to discuss and connect about the different ideas and opinions we had, and I kind of liked that because it opened my eyes, gave me new perspectives, and it answered questions that I didn't know I had. The best part of my confirmation journey was discussing individual faith as a group with the other confirmands and their mentors. I liked getting different perspectives and understanding how other people felt about God. I also enjoyed getting a deeper knowledge and understanding of how God works within a church and also how the church functions. The hardest part of my confirmation journey was discussing difficult or personal topics with the large group. I think some of the questions were things I had never thought about before and wasn't prepared to answer but I also knew that the other confirmands felt like that too. So we got different perspectives and different ideas on those answers to those questions. I really appreciated having Chelsea as my mentor and all the support she gave and also the encouragement from the rest of the church and the other confirmands. I really learned a lot and I am so excited to go into the world as a member of the church. My mentor, Chelsea Kirkland, is one of the most encouraging and supportive people I know. She always finds time to help other people no matter what else she has going on in her life. And she is so hardworking and adventurous and also very engaged in the church, which inspired me to want to become more engaged too. She is so energetic all the time and I really appreciated having her as my mentor. We already had had a connection from when I was in her Sunday school class and I was very eager to grow that relationship more. One of the things I liked most about, most about Chelsea is how she pushed me to think deeper about my ideas and opinions about God. Hi everybody, my name is Mary Houlihan and I am super excited because I get to tell you all about Kate Wilson. Uh, if you're not sure who Kate Wilson is, I would take some time to look around the church and find a girl who is a bundle of energy and someone who is always smiling. And most likely you have found yourself Kate Wilson. <laughs> I've known Kate for a long time and that was how I would recognize her uh, before she became one of my students. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I teach uh, fifth and sixth grade Sunday school. And when Kate entered our classroom, she brought all of that positivity and <clears throat> all of that energy with her. She was the epitome of what every teacher loves to have in a student. She was really fun. She was really caring towards her classmates. Um, and she was really thoughtful and contributed to our class discussion always in a meaningful way. So as you can imagine, I was quite honored when Kate asked if I would mentor her through the confirmation process. I was very excited to get to know her on a deeper level. And throughout the process, Kate was always so open and honest and self-confident, not what you would expect from a typical middle schooler. Um, what I admire most about her is that she loves with her entire being and her whole heart. Um, she loves her family. She loves her friends. 
and she even has the ability to love herself. Um, she's not afraid to be vulnerable and show the world who she truly is. Um, and she also extends a great deal of compassion to people who do the same. And I think this is why I connect with Kate so well is because we both enjoy um, being serious and learning from each other and crying together. Um, but we also really love to let our inner goofball shine and laugh together. So when I asked Kate how she is capable of exuding such self-confidence and self-love at such a young age, I think that is something that takes maturity. She told me <clears throat> that she's able to do so because she recognizes herself as a child of God. She said, and I quote, God will always love me, so I should love myself too. And so I thought that was really wise from someone of her age. And I think we all should consider those words of wisdom from Kate. And I think we should also consider her actions because all of us are capable of providing encouragement and positivity and love to those around us. So never underestimate what young people have to offer our church and have to offer this world. So Kate, thank you so much for inviting me to share this experience with you. You are an incredible young woman and I look forward to seeing the impact that you have on all of us. Hi, I'm Kate Wilson and I am a 2020 Compromand. So my mentor was Mary Houlihan and I chose her because she's an amazing lady who I've known for a while because she was my Sunday school teacher and she is so nice and laid back. And Mary has helped me grow because she's always so patient and never made me feel bad that I did not completely understand something and she always focused on how she could help me. So Mary taught me that it's okay to not always know the answer to rather heavy or important questions right away. And she also taught me that being a child of God does not have to require groundbreaking movements and it's okay to not be perfect. So throughout this process, I have learned that God truly does have love for me. And even though my life is not perfect and never will be, that does not mean he doesn't love me. So the best part of, of confirmation was getting close with Mary and the fun activities that we did. And the hardest part was probably answering questions that I had never really thought about before, and therefore I was very confused about. So confirmation has helped me strengthen my relationship with God and has made me realize that if I am worthy of God's unconditional love, that gives me a good reason to love myself.